Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome to God is speaking today. I am speaking a word and especially for those that are doing our sit-ups, the spiritual impact training using prayer and scripture. Those that are going through this spiritual fitness program with us. This verse of scripture that we're going to look at today is found in Psalm 37. It's verse 23. Oftentimes we hear um, others quote it. We may quote it, but we need to get it. The word tells us in this verse in the King James, it says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighteth in his way. And so the steps of a good man ordered by the Lord, I want us to focus on this as I look at it in the Amplified. It says the steps of a good and righteous man are directed and established by the Lord and he delights in his way and blesses his path. This is good news. I know that many times people are trying to figure out what their purpose is or how can they move to the next level, to the next thing? How can they walk in their assignment, their mission? How can they use their gift? How can they overcome a situation or overcome their past or move into, you know, greater or, you know, uh, of their ministry or do the things that God has empowered them to do? How and who am I supposed to be with it? You know, what is this relationship and how can I be a better parent or a better child or a better sibling or a better servant or how can I run my business? Everything that pertains to life, we need God's wisdom. We need his direction, his instruction. And what this word tells us is the steps of a good and righteous man. Now, let's remember that righteous means you're in right standing with God. And we have no righteousness outside of Christ. So this means a person that is abiding in the word of God, who is abiding in Christ. The word is dwelling in us as we are walking in this word and applying it to our life. It says a good and righteous man. The steps of a good and righteous man are directed and established by the Lord. That means it's already settled. That means that every day when you are pressing into God and obeying his commands and using your gifts for his glory, as you are going about your daily activities, acknowledging him in all your ways that he will direct your path, according to Proverbs 3 and 6, as we are acknowledging him and praying and getting in the word and training in godliness and, and just walking in righteousness. It says that your steps are directed and established by God. That means it's already done. That means that as you're walking in his word and in his will, as you're acknowledging him, as you're seeking him, as you're abiding in Christ, he makes you automatically walk in purpose. He begins to make us that, that spouse, that parent, that child, that sibling, that, that employer, that employee, that, that servant, that preacher, that, that, that singer, that servant, that doorkeeper, whatever it is we're supposed to be, whatever he's called us to, whatever the mission, whatever the assignment, he just causes us to walk in it. It becomes part of our life. We're not seeking out that big thing we're supposed to do. We're just seeking the great I am. And as we are walking in his word and in his will, he begins to cause us to be in his will, to be in purpose, to be in our mission, walk in our assignment, become perfected, conformed into the image of Christ and becoming that thing he called us to be, doing that thing he called us to do, going to that place that he sent us because we are simply walking in the steps that were already ordered and established. And then it says, and he delights in our way and blesses our path. So he's not just directing it, but he's blessing it. He's not just ordering our steps, but it's established and it's blessed. That that means that even when we face um, hardship, when we come in contact with, you know, the enemy uh, attacks or anything else, it's already blessed. Like we're already overcomers. We're more than conquerors because our steps are ordered by the Lord. Our, our steps are ordered, you know, by, uh, by God in everything that we do. And steps are not just walking and moving in a place. Our steps is our walk. It's our lifestyle. So he's already blessed our home. He's already blessed our family. He's already blessed the things that concern us. You know, everything may not seem like it's working just the way we want, but as we are continuing to seek his face and walk in his will and walk in his, uh, in his, um, commands and his principles, he's perfecting it. He's working it together for good because we love him and are called according to his purposes because we're walking in his will. And so he begins to establish or, or he begins to show us that he has already directed and established our steps. And so this is good news. You don't have to worry about the end. All you have to do is concern yourself with right now, am I in the will of God? Am I walking in this way? Am I studying this word? Am I praying without 
season? Am I listening for his voice? Am I am I walking according to his plans for today? Am I being obedient? Am I loving? Am I forgiving? Am I pouring out to others? Am I discipling others? Am I preaching to the to the unsaved? Am I being a vessel and an instrument of righteousness? Am I a good steward over what God has given me? And so we just begin to, to uh, apply this word to our life. And then you already know that your steps are established. They're directed and he's delighting in your way and he's blessing your path. So you are already blessed. And so it says it like this in the NLT, the Lord directs the steps of the godly and he delights in every detail of their life. God wants to be involved in every part of your life. So as we're doing the spiritual fitness, we're applying this word and we're walking in godliness and righteousness because then he is showing you your steps are ordered, they're established, and they're blessed. And so if you want to be blessed, this has nothing to do with what you obtain and what you own in this world because everything is God's. But this is about being in the center of his perfect will. And when you're in the center of his perfect will, you're in his presence and there's peace and there's power and there's strength and there is victory. And you know that if God be for you, who can be against you? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you bless us. Uh, Lord God, order our steps in your word. Guide us and lead us, Lord God. Father, we thank you. And you know the thoughts that you have for us. And it's not to harm us, but to give us an expected end. So we thank you. We're not anxious. We're not worried. We're just praying. We're just seeking. We're just yielding to you, submitted to you, Lord God. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, guide us and lead us on the path that you have for us. And cause us to be all that you purpose, that our life will bring you glory. We thank you and we praise you. We honor you and we love you. Help us to mature in your word, to grow in our walk. And, Father, as we're training in godliness, help us, Lord God, to be conformed into the image of your Son. We give you praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Listen, don't forget if you haven't picked up your book, your ebook, it's an e-booklet. Um, and it's on my store, um, Christian Rap. The link is below. It is sit-ups. This is for spiritual fitness. The sit-ups is spiritual impact training using prayer and scripture. Listen, it's an e-pub book. So it only doesn't work on a Kindle. But if you get it, um, if you get this book before you download it, make sure you have an e-reader on your phone, on your tablet, or on your computer, your laptop, so that when you download it, it will open up for you. It is EPUB format, so it should work on everything except the Kindle, but you have to have an e-reader in order for you to read it. But this is setting up a plan, a regimen, helping you to get in routine of getting into God and pressing in and training in godliness, because the scripture says, to exercise, um, you know, physically, it profits little, but to exercise in godliness, it profits us now and in the life to come. And so this is good news. We're growing and we are changing and we are progressing so that the word impacts us so we can impact the world. Amen. God bless you. Love you to life. Don't forget Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have prayer on Facebook Live, Instagram Live, Tony Brook Brown. Join us if you're able. Share this message if you feel led to, but most of all, share the gospel with somebody who's unsaved. Minister to somebody who's backslidden. Disciple somebody. Be a vessel. Be an inspiration to somebody. Make an impact. Share the gospel. Share Christ and be blessed. I'll see you next time. God bless you.